Hey guys, it's MC Fixit here. We're going to be uh, showing you a unveiling of a brushless rigid trimmer. This is the 18 volt. So it works with all of my 18 volt batteries. This is a big guy right here and uh, should work really well. It's got a two speed and uh, the part number is right down here. It is a R01201B. This thing just came out. So we are going to go ahead and open it up, set it up and give it a little test run. I really like Rigid because they do have the uh, lifetime warranty on all of their tools. And I have used it on one tool and uh, they sent me a brand new one for free. Was not totally expecting that, but uh, I thought they were just gonna repair it, but uh, they sent me a new one and uh, was very, very happy with that. So you get a packet with lots of fun items in it and this right here. So you just gotta find which direction it does come off. And so it looks like they might be adding new more attachments to this. I really hope so, uh, because it does come off right there and it says attachment hinge. So if you wanna save this for other future attachments, that's a great option for you. Go ahead and open up the bag to show you what all comes inside of it. You get the beautiful little defender there. And this is supposed to be able to be moved, I believe, if I remember correctly, that you have a couple of different locations. Maybe not on this one. I thought you did to where your string can actually be longer. And somebody already put, what is this thing for? And uh, I'm gonna try to find out. I read that in one of the uh, reviews on their website. So I am thankful it does already have a little bit of line inside of there. It's super helpful. Go ahead and read your entire owner's manual. Find out how you can uh, also register your item. Really important if you want that lifetime warranty that you do register it. You do have a short period of time to do that in. You can go ahead and open it up to this page and this will show you all of the uh, instructions on how to get this thing attached and done correctly. It does say you will need a flathead screwdriver. So get yourself one flathead screwdriver and that's really all that you are going to need. Um, we're gonna go ahead and release this so go ahead and spin it this is your holder for the device it does have a square nut which is kind of a cool thing on this and I'm gonna go ahead and put these two sides together So it does have this nice little push button that you can push and get that thing locked in. And I'm actually gonna spin it because I want the head and the trigger to be the same way, but it does look like you can spin it some different options. So that's pretty nifty. And just go ahead and tighten that guy down. And wherever it is comfortable for you, so you might have to change this up a little bit, is where you are going to put this beautiful guy right here. I wasn't supposed to drop that, but it's okay. Go ahead and put that wing nut. Uh, this wing nut feels really cheap. So this will probably eventually get replaced. It feels like some kind of like cheap alloy, but it does turn well and you don't bust your finger too bad on it. So hopefully I don't have to replace that eventually, but I can see that being one issue in the future. And because everything's made so cheap, I only go finger tight there. So this piece right here is eventually going to fit on there. We do have to go ahead and take this off. Pretty easy to start and then you can finish it by hand. 
it is longer than you might think. So once you have that off, we'll go ahead and put this on. And this piece will kind of slide up and in. And then this will come over. And this shield is very important. I know some people like to take it off, especially professional landscapers. But uh, just really not worth it. Save your legs. That right there is pretty good. And then when you do need to uh, change it out, it does have a, a lock and unlock feature on there. I'm not going to pop that off because I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a little test run. So this line is nice and thick. It is 0 0.095, which is a little thicker than what I normally have on hand. So always be careful. Don't have the battery on and touching down here. But uh, we'll go ahead and put the battery in and give it a little test run. You can also take off this little piece of tape. This is just your line cutting. And so if it gets too long, you can, uh, it'll automatically trim it, which is kind of nice. So just two little pieces of tape. And you probably could get away with not taking this off, but uh, it'd get all nasty and stuff. So just take it off. And then like most rigid tools, you just Simply slide the battery in. Make sure you do have battery as well. And uh, that thing's ready to rock and roll. So it feels really good in the hand. There are a couple of things I want to show you though. The first is you do have to push this little up thing up. It's kind of like the trigger lock again. You can press it and then on the other side it has one or two depending on how uh, powerful you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and show you just a little bit here. Overall, my first impressions of this, it's actually really good. It's pretty lightweight and uh, is balanced pretty good. I could definitely move this thing up or back however I need to. I think the only thing I don't like so far is it feels like this is a lot thicker than some of my other weed whackers in the past. And so it is a little different angle than what I've had to do, but uh, it uses the bump technology to where you hit it on the ground and you get more. But overall, I think I really like it so far, and uh, I got a whole lot of weed whacking to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, please go ahead and comment and subscribe. Do whatever you need to to help my channel out. Thank you.